Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel. Tap the notification bell. I would appreciate it majorly. So they've made an arrest. They've made an arrest in the triple homicide that happened in Central Florida, Polk County, Florida. Frostproof is the name of the town, I believe, where it happened, where they're all from, or most basically. Um, of Damian Tillman and Brandon Rollins and Kevin Springfield. And um, the three of them were going night fishing for the night. I think it's Lake Streety is where they were meeting up. And first, Damien showed up in his uh, in his white his red truck, his red truck. And then the other two guys, Kevin Springfield, and and this is these are both Kevin Springfield and uh, Brandon showed up moment late moments later in a um, I think a red truck to, or no a white truck. Excuse me, together. Okay, in fact, there's a picture of the two cars, basically one facing north, one's facing south on, I think it's Lake Streety Road, you know, that runs along Lake Streety. And uh, it appeared as though they maybe were positioned in a way so that the two drivers could talk to each other, you know. In any event, they have made, an, and they were, they were shot and beaten to death, according to the sheriff, whose I believe his name is uh, Grady... Grady Dunn, I think, and uh, who seems to be a lot of several people in the comments seem to be familiar with him as being uh, like a top notch sheriff. But he gave a press conference on Saturday morning, basically going over what was discovered by the father, because one of the three uh, assailants was managed to before he died and even actually was able to speak to his father, call his father on his own cell phone and just say the word help as he was basically, you know, probably bleeding to death. And his father, knowing that they were meeting up to go fishing and where they were going to go fishing, got in his you know, car or truck or whatever it is and immediately rushed to the scene and was able to speak to his son you know, moments before he, before he passed away. He had forgotten his own cell phone in all the, in all the, you know, um, the madness. And so he had to leave there, go to the closest convenience store that's up Route 28 or 98. And... Uh, Went to, uh, I think it's in Sunray, a convenience store in Sunray. Spoke to the the owner's, um, I believe, daughter that works there at the counter and to call for help. And went back to the, the scene, I think, with the 17-year-old daughter and, um, you know, and, 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 and called, called, you know, fire, EMS, 911, etc. By the time EMS had gotten there, his son had passed away. So, but they have... Arrested these three in the uh, in the murders. I believe they're charging. Um, I'll read through it right now. That's what's highlighted above. TJ with th with first degree murder, and the brother describes it that his brother basically shot all three of them. So the other two are being charged with accessory and other things. I think tampering with evidence. I'll read through it real quickly. TJ Wiggins has been charged with three counts of first degree murder. Robert Wiggins with three counts of accessory to murder and tampering with evidence. Whitmore, the girlfriend, three counts of accessory to murder. Sheriff. Judd, Judd, I said Rudd, it's Judd, Grady Judd, said, uh, said of TJ Wiggins, this is evil in the flesh, you know, and uh, I don't even know, I tried to make this video a couple times, I believe, uh, you know, this was all over a, a, a dispute of, about a truck, you know, and it's not even clear exactly, course, the, way, the way it's described by the brother, by Robert, uh, Robert Wiggins, you know, um, Kevin Springfield, whether he was telling the truth or not, and whether this is accurate or not, didn't even know what he was talking about, TJ, because TJ thought he stole his the engine. He said, what did you do to my truck? You stole the engine out of my truck. And Kevin replied, like, what are you talking about? And then I, he proceeded to murder, I guess, murder all three of them. But he had already killed, I believe, um, you know, Damien by the time Kevin and Brandon showed up in another truck together. The, um, the white pickup truck. So, and there's that's pictured up here actually. The two the two, two trucks I was just describing. So there's there's Damien's truck there, and there's the white pickup truck that Kevin and Brandon showed up up at moments later. I mean, they way they they were able to solve this crime was there was a Dollar General uh, receipt either in one of the trucks or in the crime scene, um, and they actually just traced it back from there. I, I assume that the you know the, the receipt has a time stamp on it, a date and time stamp, and it was moments before moments before they arrived to go fishing. So they went to the Dollar General store and spoke to the clerk there, as well as requested the um, you know the video surveillance of the uh, the Dollar General. The Dollar General clerk 
knew D, um, Damien uh, fairly well. It's a small town community, and um, you know, uh, uh, remembered him being in there, and also remembered the uh, the suspects being in there. I believe all three of them, you know, and as I understand it the crime happened within five minutes or something like that of the time from the time Damien left, uh, left the dollar general. So, and he got here initially by himself, you know, and then the other two showed up moments later, you know? So this all happened within a span of like 10 minutes, you know, um, him going to the store, him coming to the fishing location, Damien, and then, you know, the, the three of them following him there, proceeding to, um, or in the act of murdering him and then the other two showing up and him, and, and then him murdering the, the, uh, Brandon and Kevin and then Brandon calling his father, um, before he died. It's total madness, total, total, uh, total insanity. And this dude has like 230 felonies, which I don't even understand how that's possible. Somebody could have that kind of record and still be, you know, still be not, you know, walking around free, you know, but apparently he does. So it says just 10 minutes after Tillman left the store, the store being the, um, the Dollar General, in a detailed account of what police believed happened, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said all three suspects are said to have followed their victims after overhearing their fishing plans from Tillman, Damian Tillman, in a local Dollar General store. Friday, TJ wanted to confront Springfield, Kevin Springfield, over some kind of truck deal, uh, Sheriff Judd said. Just 10 minutes after Tillman left the store, Rollins, uh, uh, Rollins called his dad for help. So that's, that's Brandon Rollins. So from the time that Damian Tillman left the store to the time his buddy called his dad after they had all three been murdered, it happened within 10 minute, a 10 minute time frame. The Dollar General store must be very close to the Lake Street you know, fishing lake where they went fishing, but that's how quickly it went down. So it's, it's, it's just madness. Um, psycho. Uh, so Robert Wiggins told detectives he watched as TJ, who was first arrested at age 12, shot, shot all three victims, police said. After killing the three suspects, uh, after killing the three suspects are said to have headed to McDonald's, ordering 10 cheeseburgers and two chicken, uh, McChicken sandwiches. Each of the victims were shot a number of times, police said, after TJ asked Kevin, where's my truck? You sold the engine out of my truck. Springfield is said to have replied, I don't know what you're talking about. All three arrested in connection with the deaths were found living off the grid in two travel trailers, tra trailers on Monday. That's two days ago, uh, Sheriff Judd announced. Police, police say they found... Two uh, SKS rifles, two Mossberg shotguns and ammunition for both in a gun safe belonging to TJ Wiggins in one of the trailers. And they've already tested, you know, they've already had the Florida Department of Law Enforcement test the ballistics of the ammunition in, in the trailer to match, to see if it matched, you know, the ammunition used to kill the three uh, assailants, Damian Tillman. Brandon Rollins and Kevin Springfield, and it did did in fact match. So, TJ TJ Wiggins has been charged with three counts of first degree murder. Robert Wiggins three counts of accessory to murder and tampering with Evan Whitmore three counts of accessory to murder. Sheriff Judd uh, said of TJ Wiggins, "This is evil in the flesh." TJ Wiggins, I mean, they report him as just being a vicious, vicious, awful, mean, nasty human being who would just go up and you know hurt people for no reason, punch them right with, with out of the blue with no for no reason, just. You know, just a sick individual. This is Mary Whitmore. I believe she has a couple kids. I don't know. It seems their page. She's pictured with, you know, TJ in in her on her own Facebook. She has a couple different Facebook pages, not this one, but the other one with TJ with a couple kids. And actually, she has her kids are younger in this, where they're just infants or a baby and a small toddler. So I think she has two kids, probably not with TJ. And uh, that's the two of them pictured to get there with the uh, the the. Uh, the I love you in cursive, and um, that's that's her as well. And that's uh, that's TJ. That's the one who did you know did all the shooting and with the with, with the shirt off and the tattoos. That's Kevin Springfield. That's one of the persons that was killed, and that's supposedly who they had the problem with over the truck, you know. But you know, um, who knows? Totally crazy. Such a shame, and uh, it's pretty much the story there. That's the story there. 
Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.